Hello, I'm Dr. Abhishek Mangeshika and today we're focusing on an important aspect of endometriosis, its impact on fertility. Endometriosis is known for causing significant pain and discomfort, but it's also a major factor in infertility for many women. In this video, we'll dive into how endometriosis affects fertility, discuss the available treatment options and explore ways to improve the chances of conception. Endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows outside of it, often affecting the ovaries, fallopian tubes and can grow virtually any anywhere else in the body. This tissue can cause inflammation, scarring and adhesions and lead to a range of symptoms that can complicate fertility. If you're interested in a more detailed explanation of endometriosis itself, including its causes, symptoms and general treatment options, I encourage you to watch our dedicated video on this topic. In this video, we'll focus specifically on how endometriosis can affect fertility. Endometriosis can impact fertility in several significant ways. Distortion of pelvic anatomy. Adhesions or scarring caused by endometriosis can distort the normal anatomy of the pelvis. This distortion can lead to blockages or misalignment of the fallopian tubes, making it difficult for the egg and sperm to meet. Ovarian function can be affected by endometriomas or chocolate cysts, which can form on or in the ovaries. These cysts can reduce the number of healthy eggs or the ovarian reserve and may also affect the quality of the eggs, both of which are crucial for fertility. Inflammation and immune dysfunction associated with endometriosis can create a hostile environment for fertilization and embryo implantation. This inflammation can also trigger an immune response that further complicates the conception process. Hormonal imbalances caused by the presence of endometriosis can disrupt the hormonal balance necessary for regular ovulation and a healthy menstrual cycle, which are critical for conception. Additionally, the inflammatory environment created by endometriosis can compromise the endometrial lining of the uterus. This can make it more difficult for an embryo to implant and develop, even if fertilization occurs. Determining whether endometriosis is contributing to infertility often requires a comprehensive evaluation. Symptoms such as painful periods, chronic pelvic pain, pain during intercourse, and gastrointestinal symptoms that align with the menstrual cycle are often red flags. These symptoms combined with difficulties in conceiving may suggest that endometriosis is affecting your fertility. Often, the infertile patient may have no pain-related symptoms regardless of how severe the disease is. A thorough medical history and physical examination are the first steps in identifying potential signs of endometriosis. This imaging technique can detect ovarian endometriomas and assess ovarian reserve, which are important factors in fertility. It is also useful in assessing deep disease, but this is heavily operator dependent. MRI is useful for visualizing deep endometriosis lesions and assessing the extent of the disease. Laparoscopy remains the gold standard for diagnosing and treating endometriosis. This minimally invasive procedure allows for direct visualization of endometriosis lesions and in some cases treatment during the same procedure. We cannot see smaller lesions affecting the peritoneum on traditional imaging. Therefore, excision of peritoneal disease is a key step in fertility enhancing surgery for endometriosis. Beyond diagnosing endometriosis, your doctor may recommend specific fertility tests such as assessing the ovarian reserve through AMH levels or performing tests like an HSG or a HICOSI to check the patency of the fallopian tubes. Several treatment options are available to improve fertility in women with endometriosis depending on the severity of the disease and other individual factors. While hormonal therapies such as GnRH agonists, oral contraceptives or progestins can help manage symptoms by suppressing endometriosis, they are generally not used as standalone treatments for improving fertility. Laparoscopic excision surgery is the gold standard for treating endometriosis-related infertility. Surgery can be particularly beneficial in improving fertility by removing endometriosis lesions and restoring normal pelvic anatomy. Removing endometriomas can improve ovarian function, although it's essential to carefully consider the potential impact on ovarian reserve. There is recent literature supporting the use of robotic surgery to excise endometriomas, which causes less damage to the ovary than a laparoscopy with, which is something you should discuss with your surgeon. IUI or intrauterine insemination may be effective for women with mild endometriosis by placing sperm directly into the uterus, increasing the chances of fertilization. IVF is often recommended in women with moderate to severe endometriosis in which the tubes may have been damaged by the disease process. It is one of the most effective treatments, especially when other approaches have not been successful. 
It is mandatory to remove all endometriosis lesions via clean, effective surgery prior to the IVF procedure to improve the chances of a successful pregnancy. For women who are not yet ready to conceive but are concerned about the impact of endometriosis on future fertility, egg freezing is a viable option to preserve fertility. Younger women diagnosed with endometriosis who wish to delay pregnancy may consider fertility preservation options such as an egg or embryo freezing. Navigating the challenges of endometriosis while trying to conceive can be physically and emotionally demanding. The journey to conception, particularly with endometriosis, can be stressful and emotionally draining. It's crucial to seek support from mental health professionals, support groups, or counseling services that specialize in fertility and chronic illness. Certain lifestyle changes can help support fertility. Maintaining a healthy weight, can improve hormonal balance and fertility. A balanced diet rich in anti-inflammatory foods can help manage symptoms and support overall health. Regular, moderate exercise is beneficial, but it's important not to overdo it, especially if exercise exacerbates your endometriosis symptoms. Both smoking and excessive alcohol consumption can negatively impact fertility and should be avoided. Keep an open line of communication with your healthcare providers. A personalized and adaptive treatment plan is essential in managing endometriosis while trying to conceive. There are many myths surrounding endometriosis and fertility that can lead to unnecessary worry. While endometriosis can make it more challenging to conceive, many women with this condition do achieve pregnancy, often with the help of medical or surgical treatments. Expert surgical excision dramatically improves fertility outcomes. Surgery can significantly improve fertility outcomes, particularly when performed by a specialist. However, it's not a guaranteed solution for everyone, and some women may still require assisted reproductive technologies like IVF. Not every woman with endometriosis will require IVF. The need for ART depends on the severity of the disease, the presence of other fertility factors and individual circumstances. Endometriosis can present challenges to fertility, but with early diagnosis, a personalized treatment plan and the right support, many women with this condition can achieve pregnancy. Understanding how endometriosis impacts fertility is the first step in managing your reproductive health. If you suspect that endometriosis is affecting your fertility, I encourage you to seek expert advice and explore your treatment options. There are many paths to achieving a successful pregnancy and with the right approach, this possibility remains very real. Thank you for watching. For a more detailed explanation on endometriosis, including its causes, symptoms and general treatment options, be sure to check out our other video dedicated to that topic. Please feel free to ask questions or share your experiences in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to help others understand this important issue.